Like and subscribe in the next 5 seconds, or this will be in your bed tonight. What is something people often brag about that really isn't that impressive? People always ask to try on my glasses, warn for pretty bad short-sightedness, and then make extreme noises to show just how much the glasses hurt their eyes, and then tell me how they have 20 stroke 20 vision, have a ducking medal and give my glasses back. On the other side of this I have a pretty mild prescription for nearsightedness. When people ask to try them on they always look at me accusatorily and say these aren't real. Are they? I see better with them. Duck off. They barely even work, he said, and as I watched in class he placed them on his stupid head, and squinted through the glass. I thought they'd show me even more, but these are just a trick so what you even need them for? Dut. To see, you ducking prick. Rich kids that brag about money, like it was even their accomplishment. Dorm mate in college constantly bragged about being in the Mile High Club. His dad had a private jet. Not really the same thing dude. Never bright a girl back and always talked shit about women. Ugh. Wait so his dad molested him? When you say you hurt yourself one time and everyone escalates. I stubbed my toe last night. Oh really? Well I shut my middle finger in a car door one time. Oh really? Well I cut my head off one time. Honestly, one upping in general. Well I always two up. People often brag about how little they slept last night, usually after you just finished saying you're feeling tired. We get it, you're more tired. At this point I'm more impressed by a good night's rest. Edit. Change your to your. Ugh. I'm tired. I didn't sleep well last night. Oh yeah? Well I never sleep. I just stay up complaining about being tired all the time and how hard it is to be a parent. Got. Duck off Karen. It's always Karen. I just love it when someone says well I just don't know how to use a computer. Which I can understand if they were being told to open up their tower and reseat the memory. But when they put in a trouble ticket for their computer not working and it turns out I have walked all the way over there just to find out you forgot to turn on your monitor. Yeah, you do this every day people. You may not know much about cars, but you still frigging drive every day. What's a computer? Duck that dumb ducking commercial. I actually know someone who brags about driving drunk. He was arrested one night for it, but it didn't seem to phase him at all. So you're yeah, bragging about drinking and driving. Do you call them out on it? Understandable if not, I have a hunch people brag about that shit to try and pass off their abhorrent actions so they don't have to confront the seriousness of what they're doing. Nobody's really in danger, cause I haven't gotten killed yet. Nobody's really in danger, cause I haven't gotten killed yet. Equals equals. Holy duck I hear that logic way too much it breaks my brain every time. And in order to confirm my own sanity forces me to roleplay the imaginary reply. Why would anyone be in danger after you've gotten yourself killed? You're dead. And the danger is gone now because you're dead. The danger only exits before you reach the result of your actions. God ducking damn it Susan. I take care of my kids. You're supposed to Chris Rock. What you want? A cookie? I ain't never been to jail. What do you want? A cookie. You're not supposed to go to jail. You low expectation having mother ducker. I have never taken a sick day. From a former boss. Even though I know they'd been sick many days and just came to work anyway. You are the reason everyone else really needs to take sick days. People don't realize that sick days aren't for you. They're for everyone else. They're for yourself and everyone else. Sick days are most definitely also for yourself. Because no one should work with a feverish bronchitis or an acute bad back. Workers need to recover. 2. Working in healthcare. I'm shocked by how many people of any job think they don't deserve to be sick at home when they are ill. You absolutely deserve to take a break when you are ill. Contagious or not. Employers who force you to work when ill are a-holes. If you are contagious. Naturally you should not go to places where you can infect others. Which includes work. Much hate for parents who send sick kids to school. 2. People brag about how little they care about something and they keep saying so. But if they really cared so little, they would shut the duck up talking about it already. I hate this type. A kid at work was telling me how he doesn't care what anyone thinks about him and he's above all that shit. And then in the same conversation told me he raced a guy down the highway because he insulted his truck. He didn't see how that proves how he is clearly confused. 
Please dude you're still upset over those people. I got over caring about those people ye years ago. Namaste. As an introvert, I hate when people brag about being an introvert. There's nothing special about being someone who prefers a smaller social circle and requires a little alone time every now and then to recharge. For whatever reason, bloggers and content writers just grabbed onto this personality type and turned it into this noble status. I also can't stand the BuzzFeed articles and blog posts with titles like How to take care of your introvert and how to date an introvert. I'm such a hermit. Look at me eating in my bedsheets. Herk herk herk. Edit. Giving me a laugh with the comments. Y'all. I like watching Netflix and eating pizza and I love doggers. I'm so different lol. I could beat the shit out of you cause like 99% of the population could do that to me. Most of the people who say that have never been in a fight themselves and have an imagination of what they could do. I'd just snap man. I'd snap and you would be done. Don't let me snap on you bro. 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 I've heard this one once or twice in my life. I tell people how it is. I don't sugarcoat anything. Semicolon you're probably just an asshole with zero tact. Sorry. Have no filter. If that were true they wouldn't need to console themselves with this logic in the first place. Definitely a holes. I enjoy people who are straightforward and honest in all matters. Those rare genuine people who you can depend on to always give it to you straight. The I have no filter asses are not these people. They just say what they want and not have to accept the consequences. I just speak the truth. No you don't. You just speak your perspective as does everyone else. Goober. Sat scores when you're already in college. I got 3000. I got 1900. We at the same college my man. I wouldn't mind anyone show off if they got 3000. Bragging about how they know they're a beach and saying that's just me. Duck you. It is more when people say they are real or honest when in fact they are just a beach that bothers me. About how much they can drink. Literally nobody cares. Here's a fun drinking game. Take a shot every time you feel sad. Okay but how do I win? When I'm not sad anymore. High school achievements. Great. So what have you done since? Really sad when it is someone past 40 doing this. I really do not care that someone was the star QB for 3 years in high school. Poor grades. Not turning in assignments. Not going to class. Or getting a suspension is not cool. Kids. Source. Was surrounded by idiots growing up and now work at a middle school. I think some of those kids are hiding from their insecurities when they do that. If they fail, they can rationalize it to themselves by saying they never tried. By contrast, it's a really big blow to the ego if they try really hard and still do poorly. It's like that Simpsons episode where Bart fails the test he actually studied for and starts crying. But I really tried this time. This is as good as I could do and I still failed. That's much more challenging to your sense of self-worth than simply not trying at all. I imagine it must be impossible for educators. How do you encourage kids to take the risk, if they know they may have to shoulder the emotional burden of true failure? Kids, how I did that crap in college. I also have no degree and a few thousand in student loan debt. People that brag about how good they are at driving drunk high, it's not impressive at all. You're endangering the lives of others. Also, most of the time it's just that they feel like they're better and more alert when driving because they are drunk. But in reality, they're as impaired as you'd expect. It's such a stupid thing to do. You are putting yours and everyone else's lives at risk. Dong size. Ro, you worked so hard for that. Good for you. Oh, whoops. Oh, I dropped my monster condom that I use for my magnum dong. You stole my line. Their IQ. You know those online tests that say your IQ? I broke one of those. It gave me a negative answer. Hey I just want everyone to know how smart I am okay? Not getting a lot of sleep every night. I was up until 230 am playing Stardew on my Switch last night. It's 2am and I literally just hopped off Stardew to take a look at I before bed. Are you my spirit animal? How addicted they are to caffeine coffee. I'm a barista. And I don't care how addicted you are. Just buy my exquisitely crafted lattes. 
When I worked at a restaurant years ago, all the other waiters waitresses would brag about how well they could drive home drunk. Used to make me so mad. I had a GM that bragged about this all the time and then complained about having a breathalyzer in his car. Well maybe if you weren't driving drunk, Tony, you wouldn't have a breathalyzer attached to your car. Not liking things that are popular, more often than not because they're popular. Congratulations, you unique individual. People sometimes brag about how many all-nighters they had to pull during a semester. To me it always just seems like they're bragging about a lack of time organization skill colon. Yeah I've mentioned this before but I'm not sure anybody brags about it. I might be wrong though. Whenever I say it it's kinda said in a self-degrading way. I don't know if this counts as bragging per se, but people who use the word adulting typically use it when priding themselves on washing dishes or vacuuming their carpet. LOL. Like the young moms I see on Facebook who put frozen tater tots and processed cheese in a pan, cook it, then say this mama made dinner. You being a grown up is hard but I sure can cook. Your account of these people made me irrationally frustrated with people for some reason. How many drinks drugs they can consume. Yes, it can be impressive maybe in Wade Boggs case but it mostly just makes you look like an idiot. That's just my opinion. R.I.P. Wade Boggs. Boss Hogs. I feel like the people who go tearing down the street with really loud car engines are bragging about something. But I simply find it obnoxious. When people say something like I don't read, I can't remember the last time I read a book, as if it's some kind of badge of honor. They're men in name brand products, that was purchased with their parents money. My husband's daughter once received a pair of expensive designer sunglasses as a gift. She showed them to us, tapping on them saying, they're real. My husband replied, I didn't think they were imaginary. Taking care of their kids, you shouldn't brag about something you're supposed to do. How come Chris Rock can do a routine and everyone finds it hilarious, but when I do it same routine. Same comedic timing people file a complaint to corporate. I ain't never been to jail you're not supposed to go to jail. You low expectation heavy motherducker. Chris Rock. Apparently juggling. I spent two weeks getting it down. Nonchalantly I juggled in the background with my friends around. No one said a thing. Well, I think it's impressive. Maybe they were just too intimidated by your awesomeness that they didn't want to draw attention to it. Anything their ancestors did. Like my Greek friend who keeps bragging about ancient Greece achievements like how they discovered this and that. Maybe discover a way to manage your debt FFS. People who constantly brag about smoking weed or taking drugs. Can't seem to get away from it these days. I got stabbed in a knife fight. That is the opposite of what you are supposed to do in a knife fight. Size cost of an engagement ring. Oh. Bro, you spent what could have been a sizable down payment on a new car or a few months off your mortgage for a shiny rock? Let me worship you and your sound financial decisions. If you're happy to be engaged, that's cool, I get it. But if you're comparing your rock ice bling to other people's, find something else to base your self esteem around. My sil did this. I got engaged a few months before her with a $20 ring. She got pissed at Bill and demanded he propose to her very soon after and demanded the ring be at least $3000. Dumbass went along with it. She tried to brag about it to me and I was like okay, nice ring. But I am just as engaged as you are and we can still afford to move out in a couple months. She didn't like that much. That they knew a song before it was popular. People bragging that they are so busy. Everyone is busy. How many chips they ate out of someone's butt. My co-workers are always doing this to me. Every day in the break room they shove it in my face about how many damn chips they ate out of someone's butt. You could never eat that many chips they say to me. Well, I got real tired of it. After learning the current record was 53 chips I decided to train. Every night after work I would go home and practice eating chips out of someone's butt. I got super good. Then one night I pushed myself to hit 53. And I knew I could do more. It was time. My co-workers gathered around the break area at work as I prepared to break the record. I had trained but I felt slightly nervous. I pushed through and kept eating. Doubt began to creep into my mind at the 47th chip. I pushed. 48. 59. 50. Almost there. 
51, 52, 5, 3. Evan burst into the room and exclaimed that Karen had eaten 78 chips out of his butt last night. OWTF dude. Being bad ignorant of maths. MSOO bad at maths I just don't do maths. Beach. A baby doesn't do math. My dogs don't do math. The teams of ducking wizards that got together and made the miracle that is your phone. Your car. GPS. Medicine. Planes. Internet. Banking systems do math. Doing math is the brag not doing maths is just standing around waiting to use the stuff the math people make. Gonna throw in an edit here. Being bad at maths is totally fine. Absolutely nothing wrong with being bad at maths. Proclaiming to be bad at maths as some form of bragging the topic of the post is stupid. My reply may seem a bit heavy handed towards those who maths isn't a strong point. Wasn't my intention. Is was geared as a slap in the face to those who boldly stand high and proudly announce their lack of mathematical ability. Most people don't brag about this themselves. But in my personal experience building your own computer causes anyone you know to try and brag about it on your behalf. It's just looking up 8 parts on Kparked Piker, having it say yeah these work and spending 90 minutes, or much less if you know what you're doing, assembling a simple puzzle. It's not like I have a ducking clue how to build any of the components. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for more interviews.